Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you guys can probably see that this is not the video that I promised that I would have out to you guys today. I actually wasn't planning on making this video today. Um, obviously, it's kind of spur of the moment. I wasn't really planning on making this video ever. This is something that um, I don't even know if I will post this. I'm just filming it because something is really bothering me and I felt the need to just talk about it with you guys, um, whoever's watching. Yeah, so you guys know I'm still doing a bunch of remodeling in my pet room. I'm not done. I promise those videos are gonna be coming very, very soon. But I felt like this video needed to be made tonight, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I'll post it or not, like I said, but I guess if you're seeing this, then I did. And if not, then at least it'll make me feel better to make it, so. So a few hours ago, I was on YouTube and a video got suggested to me and quite simply I saw it I saw the title it was from a channel that I didn't recognize called raw fishing um, and I saw the title uh, where it said they were rescuing baby turtles and so I decided to click on it obviously because I was interested if you're new to this channel you may not know this but turtles and tortoises are a passion of mine I have a rescue turtle I also have a tortoise that I've adopted I just love them very very much and so of course when I saw, you know, saving rescue baby turtles, I was like, oh, you know, what is that? I watched the video and very quickly realized uh, what the video really was about. It was not rescuing. I'm not gonna lie. I had a very visceral reaction. I immediately was upset. I was immediately nauseous, disgusted, and just, it was just a very blatant, obvious twist to what they were actually doing in a way that they will not receive any hate from. I'm sure there are millions of viewers who are watching it and who will, you know, obviously congratulate them on uh, this video. So this video is not a video that I'm happy to be making. It's not a fun video. It's a very direct video. It's not my typical stuff on this channel. I'm not a tea channel. I'm not a cancel channel. I'm not a whatever news channel. I do pet care. I do animal care. I promote positivity, adoption when you can, overall taking care of your animals, and I just pretty much promote all aspects of just caring for animals in general. General, which is again why I have such an issue with this video and really this channel as a whole um, but specifically this video that I'm going to be talking about so obviously a disclaimer this is not a hate video though people will say that it is I do not hate this person whoever runs this channel I don't know his name I'll call him mr. raw fishing I have nothing against him personally I don't know this person I left a comment on their video obviously it will probably get lost I don't assume I would hear from them but obviously I don't hate this person I don't know them I don't even know his name we're just gonna call him mr. raw fishing I'm not a subscriber these videos were suggested to me I wouldn't consider this channel a part of the pet community I do think that they are outside of the pet community um, they obviously don't promote pet care they are much more directed to shock value clickbait they do condone um, wild-caught animals which is what we're going to be talking about and obviously things like that so that's not typically something that is part of the pet community in general at least from what I could gather from what I've seen all right so let's get into the video that's really bothering me by this particular channel so this channel is called raw fishing I know I mentioned that they have 1.6 million subscribers obviously a very big audience um, channels like this typically do have very high followings, um, which again, it kind of serves as an incentive for them to continue on with this type of behavior that we're going to be discussing and things like that. It's very troubling, um, but YouTube does reward it. So, I mean, that's just kind of part of what it is and I understand that, but it doesn't condone the behavior. So that's why I'm making this video um, in a nutshell. So the first thing I notice when I type in raw fishing on YouTube, the first three videos that actually pop up is building a baby turtle dream pond $500 challenge rescuing baby turtles from hungry pond eaters which is the video that we're going to be talking about it has 1 million views and then they have a third video called rescued baby turtles get their dream home which it appears to be a blue swimming pool i haven't actually watched that video that's just what the thumbnail says but again i'm not going to judge it by that thumbnail we're going to be talking about the second video which is the rescuing baby turtles from hungry pond eaters we're not going to watch the entire video it is 20 minutes long but i'm going to show you guys the main portion of this video that we're going to be talking about and then i'm going to be addressing the problems with it why it is so alarming to me and why the behavior that this video is promoting and that this person, Mr. Raw Fishing, why it is so harmful to animals, turtles, and wildlife, and while it is potentially also illegal behavior, which is like a whole nother thing that we are gonna cover. So I'm gonna watch this video with you guys now, and then we will discuss. There's a bunch of baby turtles all throughout this whole little canal. There is a bunch of baby turtles. I was driving by last night and I said, holy crap, there's a bunch of baby turtles everywhere. So that is our goal today. Probably 90% of these little guys go off and they just get absolutely they get annihilated by big bass. We have largemouth bass, snook, tarpon, peacock bass, you name it, we have. 
Hold up, let me. The number of turtles. Everything. Bro, there's a billion little mollies right here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's look at all this. Okay, hold up. I, I. Dude. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Get all this stuff back in here. Oh my god. I'm not surprised about the turtle as much as I am about this tadpole. Look at this. Come here. Look at this. Okay, guys, so this is a, a, a bull. F I got a baby squirtle. He was just sitting up on the bank like I was talking about before, though. Okay, is that it? I just want to make sure we have this net clear right here so we can look at what we just caught. Okay, I'm going to take all this. Goodbye. Okay, so what we just caught, hold up. We came here. Hi, squirt. This is little squirt. Hi, buddy. And look at this. We caught like a beautiful looking trout thing. I think it's going to be raw fam. Guys, like honestly, I think it's so crazy. We already have fish. We have amphibians. We have a freaking a frog and we have reptiles right here. Hold on. Let me just let me just show you that. These things are insane. They'll take a finger off when they get bigger. Dude, don't they get up to like 50 pounds? Um, The biggest one I've seen is probably like this big. So probably like 25 to 50 pounds in a span of like one to 50 years. I'm not sure how old they get, but bro, what? holy crap. What? Crap, I, wait, this is a wild animal. He is probably very stressed out. I just caught him and took him away, but I mean, at least he'll live now. But, you know, if you guys want to catch cool, crazy stuff, put it in your fish tank like I do. Just go down the bank, look at my net. If I catch another freaking tadpole or some freaking crazy freaking water moccasin looking thing, I don't. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna stop the video right there and I'm gonna just address um, all of the issues with what I'm seeing so far. Now, obviously I am skipping through uh, parts of that where he's changing the subject and he's not specifically talking about the turtles that he's just taken from the wild and he's talking about other things, but you get the gist of what you saw. It's not taken out of context. Even if I'm playing it through quickly, um, you can essentially see what he's saying. So the first thing I want to talk about is my issue with what appears to be his reasoning for taking these turtles out of the wild. We're going to address that first. The first thing that I want to say, Mr. Raw Fishing, if you're seeing this, his viewers, if you're seeing this, um, or just my viewers in general, or if no one is watching this, just me. My message about his messaging for the reason that he's doing this is that 90% of these baby turtles are going to be subject to predation, which means that essentially they will not have a very high survival rate because they are so small, they are eaten by bigger predators in their natural environments. This is very true. He is absolutely right about that. Small baby animals in the wild are subject to predation and baby turtles are no different, especially little sliders. Things like largemouth bass, catfish, things like that, they can eat them, it does happen. And that is very, very true. However, does the fact that these animals are subject to predation, does that give you as a human a right to interfere and take them from the wild? Short answer is no. In fact, in many states, it's actually illegal to be taking turtles from the wild. Obviously, I believe he's in Florida. I'm pretty sure I'm correct on that, even though, again, I don't know a whole lot about him other than what I've seen on his channel and the handful of videos that I've watched. And also, I'm not entirely familiar with turtle laws in Florida. I do know that there are a lot of animals that are invasive that you are allowed to capture wild in Florida. I cannot tell you what they are. And so I don't know the specifics on these turtles being taken without a permit in Florida. I'm not exactly sure. I'm more familiar with gopher tortoise laws in Florida. But even if it is legal, let's just say that it is legal, that what he's doing, taking these turtles from the wild as babies in Florida is legal without a permit. The message that he is promoting very blatantly in his video is go catch some turtles, go catch some fish, whatever you want and put it in your aquarium like I do. You know, if you guys want to catch cool, crazy stuff, put it in your fish tank like I do. That was a rough summary of um, his quote that he just said. And the problem with that mentality is that he is promoting to his audience, anyone watching, which this video has over a million views, that it is fine to go and take animals from the wild and bring them home and put them into your aquariums. Now, I can't get into every single reason why this is awful to promote, harmful to the environment, in many cases illegal, as it is illegal to take turtles from the wild in many states in the US. But more than all of that, let's just look at the repercussions of that turtle's life. Turtles live a very, very, very long time. They can live anywhere from 30, 50 to 150 years, depending on the species of turtle or tortoise that you get. Committing to getting a turtle and taking one from the wild and taking it home, that is literally a lifetime commitment and beyond. It is a bigger commitment than you can commit to any human on this planet. They live longer than kids. They live longer than any spouse you can have. They live longer than your family members. They literally will outlive you. In a span of like one to 50 years. I'm not sure how old they get, but bro. 
for me, the commitment to a turtle or a tortoise is so much bigger than going to a creek and casting in a net, catching four or five, you know, screaming with your bros about it in excitement and then taking them and putting them in a koi pond that you may already have set up and that might be great but it's not about you. You may say that your care for them is gonna be awesome, but what if you get tired of them in 10 or 20 years? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about what you're gonna do with them in 30, 40, 50 years? When you have these huge turtles that get very large, depending on whether they're male or female, they can exceed 10 inches plus, and you've got multiple of them in this koi pond in your yard. Have you thought about that? Have you thought about how you're going to provide for them for several decades? Arguably, let's say that he has. Let's say he has an awesome koi pond and they're going to be taken care of and he did take them from the wild, but he's going to take care of them. That still doesn't address the wildlife impact of that, of taking animals from the wild and calling it rescuing. The title of this video very simply says, Rescuing Baby Turtles from the Wild from Predators. The message that that promotes just by the title alone, even if it was legal, even if he's gonna give them the best care, let's take those two things away. The message that he is saying is that leaving baby animals in the wild subjects them to predation, so you should take them from the wild and rescue them. That is a very simple way of looking at the title of that video. The reason that messaging is so harmful is because if you apply that message that baby animals shouldn't be left in the wild because they could die because of predation, so you need to rescue them by taking them from their natural environment, if you were to take that logic and apply it to every other species or even a handful of species in the world, you're essentially saying that we should not leave any baby animals subject to predation in the wild, so you should take them home and rescue them. And if you wanna pretend that that is not the message of what he's saying and that's not the message of that title, of that clickbait, of that immediate message that people are gonna get before they even watch the video, then you're lying to yourself because that is the message. That is what he's saying and that is what he's putting across, whether he believes it himself or not or whether he has ulterior motives for doing this or not. These are some of his most popular videos. They are some of his most watched videos is taking these baby turtles from the wild because everybody likes baby turtles. I'm sure all the kids watching his videos, I've read his comments, they love these baby turtles. But the problem is, is that they don't realize how big these turtles get how huge of a responsibility they are for decades to come, what kind of level of commitment they take, how big of enclosures they need if they're moved inside, how big of ponds they need if they're kept outside, not to mention the environmental impact of taking animals from the wild. And I understand that sliders are very invasive. I completely understand that. I know a lot about turtles, That's, that doesn't escape me. But it speaks to the message. It's not just about these turtles. Yes, him taking these turtles from the wild, in my opinion, is absolutely horrible. Once these turtles have been in his care as babies and they start to grow, if he gets tired of them in five years, 10 years, 20 years, he can't release them. Him taking them from the wild, taking responsibility from them and having that human interference in their natural way of life of how they would normally be living in the wild, it completely ruins them from ever being able to be re-released because they become dependent on that human to feed them and take care of them. It's just so incredibly harmful and to see this message to such a large audience, it's just so incredibly harmful to wildlife, to the environment, the kids that could potentially see this message and think, oh, there's a baby animal, there's a box turtle in the road, I need to go get it, I need to take it home, I need to rescue it because it's in danger to predation. Something could kill it one day, I need to take it home. That is the message that you're putting across and it is extremely harmful and in many cases it's actually illegal in many states. Whether or not it is for you, that is not the point. It's about the message that you're promoting and it is very irresponsible to do that. Alright, so let's watch a little more of this video towards the end and then we will talk about it. I just installed it. We already have some beautiful little fish inside of there. If you guys could look way down there, I mean they're all way the heck down there. There he goes. Hi buddy. He's just looking down like, what the heck? What is this? Is this real life? Come on, go buddy. Go on. Yeah, there he goes, he's swimming. He's like, I could dig it. Oh, bye squirt, bye buddy. This is a Florida snapping turtle right here. He's very, very, very pretty. His name is Bowser. Look at his big, long tail. He reminded me immediately as soon as I saw him. I've always wanted to have a little um, snapping turtle named Bowser. He's so cute. Um, I have to check with Joey Slam because I know he has one of these. I'm not. What do you know? What his his name is? I hope his name's Bowser. Um, and we're gonna just put him right in there, and hopefully he's gonna eat a bunch of. Hey hey hey! 
Hey, why does he? Oh, okay. He's he's swimming now. Go on, buddy. There he goes. He's crawling on the bottom like a little savage. Bye, little Bowser. Have a good. Uh, whenever he gets or something, because he's so green, or something cool like that, something Mario themed. So that basically, guys, remember Mario theme. That's Bowser. Oh, and what is that guy? Maybe they're like different breeds. Yeah, look, look, look. This guy has like these little dots right here. You see the little white dots? That's so cool. And what does this guy have? Yeah, he, oh my god, I think those are 100% different breeds of tur tortoise or turtles, my bad. Just like that, yeah, they could, I mean, that's actually perfect right there. They, little turtles get out of the water so then their shell doesn't rot out. This little spotted man. Little, and once he gets big, we can obviously name him Bowser, like, was good, but now he's like, Bowser! So that's pretty much the gist of the video. I'm gonna stop it there. You, I think you guys saw enough to understand where I'm coming from. So he took the turtles home and he put them in his little goldfish pond that he's made at his home. Again, I'm not questioning his care. Obviously, keeping turtles and tortoises outside is great. Again, it's not about that. That's not about my biggest issue with this video. It's not about the care he could potentially give them. It's about the amount of commitment. Him saying turtles or tortoises or whatever shows me that there is a potential there that he has not thought this through. He hasn't researched. He isn't even sure what species he just pulled out of that creek or river, whatever that was. And then, of course, there's also the issue of all of the parasites and bacteria that turtles and tortoises carry, especially small baby hatchlings like those are. They're very, very small. They do carry bacteria and parasites. And then just putting them into your tank, as he was suggesting. Yes, he put them in a pond with goldfish. But again, now his goldfish are at risk. He's also been handling them a lot. He also wasn't sure what species those turtles were. He was guessing based off their color and giving them cute names and things like that, saying he's always wanted a snapping turtle named Bowser. It's just the sheer lack of respect for the nature aspect of it, the respect for their futures. It just showed me how little thought went into this, how impulsive this was for the clickbait sake of it all, and it just, it's so upsetting and it makes me so physically ill. I really can't express that enough. I could be wrong, but I truly don't feel like, in my opinion, um, that this particular person, Mr. Raw Fishing, I don't feel like that he did the proper amount of research before casting his net, bringing in animals from the wild and taking them from their natural environments where they had the potential to possibly live out 30, 40, 50 years of their lives there. He basically took them from their natural habitat and forced them into a human-made situation where now their entire futures rely on his willingness to care for them for the future decades to come. A lot of people do this. It's very common. It's very troubling to see a channel of this size promoting this harmful behavior. It's harmful to wildlife. In many cases, it's illegal. Again, I don't know what those laws are in Florida on these particular turtles. I would imagine you would need a permit, but that's just me guessing. It is extremely harmful to put across this message on a channel with such a large audience, which is why I just felt completely overwhelmed by this and I felt like I needed to put this video out. So to anyone watching this, to Mr. Raw Fishing, any of his viewers, any of my viewers, or anyone who just happened across this video, first of all, thank you for watching. But second of all, I wanna put a message out there to you. This is Koa. Koa is a 30 something year old box turtle. He was taken from the wild in 1985 by someone who followed the very advice that you're promoting on your channel and in your video of go catch an animal regardless of how long its lifespan is or how big of a responsibility is or what the care requirements are just go catch them and put them in your tank because that's what you want that's what your desire is it doesn't matter what's best for them or how long they live or how big of a responsibility they are or how much happier they would be in the wild in their natural environments versus in your man-made pond the woman who took koa off the road in 1985 she probably thought very much like you i can only assume she saw a turtle in the road and she said, I want him, I deserve him. And she took him from the wild. Koa didn't ask to be taken. He wasn't given proper care. There wasn't any thought obviously put into her taking him from the wild when he should have been left there. There are so many species of turtles and tortoises that are taken from the wild that their existence, their very existence is completely threatened with extinction. They take these animals from the wild with no regard for what's best for the animal, with no regard for how to properly care for them, and then they end up in situations like this after this has been over three decades, Koa's in his 30s, he was severely neglected, he wasn't given the proper care, and this is what he turned out to be. Now I'm not implying that Mr. Raw Fishing is not going to care for those turtles, that's again not my point, but can you say that? with certainty about every single person who's gonna take his message and apply it and go take something off the road, like a box turtle, like Koa, or go catch something with a net in their local pond or creek or river. You can't guarantee that. 
And that's why that message is so harmful. Not only are you encouraging illegal activity in many states, but more than that, you're putting animals like this at risk. This is what you're promoting. That is the potential of what you're promoting. Poa didn't ask to be taken from the wild. Those turtles that you took from the wild and promoted on your channel and encouraged your viewers to take from the wild as well, did not ask to be taken from their natural habitats. Predation or not, it doesn't give you the right to take them. It doesn't give you the right to make that decision about their future for them. Taking an animal from its natural environment and putting it under the guise of rescuing because you never know what may happen to them in the future, that's not rescuing. If anything, it's more along the lines of glorified poaching. It's not your right, and without the proper care, proper research, and the actual commitment to the decades that those animals live, it's just being completely negligent and irresponsible, and I find that it's very harmful behavior that happens way too much, and it ends up with the animals being the ones who suffer, like Koa. The woman who took him from the wild after 30-something years when it finally became legal to own turtles and tortoises in our state, she took him and she took him to a local reptile shop and dropped him off because she was done with him. After 30 years of neglecting him and him paying the price for her ignorance, I happened upon him and he's doing good now, but he shouldn't be with me. He shouldn't be with anyone. He should have been able to stay in the wild and be able to live out his life in his natural environment and humans took that from him. So that is it for this video. That is my message. It may come across a bit aggressive, very direct, very honest, and very factual, but that is what it is. That is what this is. I know this isn't my typical type of video. It's just turtles and tortoises will always have a soft spot with me. It's very, very hard for me to see channels with such huge ranges. And I'm not saying that this particular channel is the only one who does it. There are other channels who also promote taking turtles and tortoises from the wild, as well as other animals as well. Obviously, I'm talking specifically about turtles and tortoises because their lifespans are so significant and they are such a huge responsibility. So raw fishing, if you ever see this, I hope that you take what I said into consideration. His viewers, if you found this video, I encourage you to stick around if you need help with your pets and you're looking for pet care. I hope you find something useful on my channel. If not, and this is the only video that you see, I do hope that you understand where I'm coming from. I hope that you see the flaw in his reasoning for taking those animals from the wild and deeming it rescuing when that is in fact not what qualifies as rescuing. And while this message may come off very direct and very blunt, I do send it with kindness and I hope that whoever watches this understands that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. To my regular viewers, I promise this room renovation is underway. I'm gonna have these videos out to you very, very soon. I promise they're coming this week and I'm really excited. You can get a sneak peek right here of some of the things we've been doing, but it's not done. It's gonna be coming very soon, I promise. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to never have to make another video like this. Obviously, it wasn't my intention, but I felt that it needed to be done and I hope that you guys can understand that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind, bye. Hey guys, so it's been five days since I filmed this video and I wanted to include this update here at the end before I wrap it for good. I mentioned in the video, I wasn't sure if I was gonna ever upload this video or put it out there. So I decided instead of uploading it like Monday or Tuesday or whatever when I filmed it, I decided to reach out. So Monday I did send a DM and I just wanted to post that DM here for you guys so you can see five days ago, um, I did attempt to reach them personally. So since I haven't heard anything in about five days, I have decided I'm posting this video just so that I can get my opinion out there on how harmful it can be to capture turtles and tortoises in the wild. I still stand by that message and I think it's really important. I do wish that I could have heard back from them, but it is what it is. It's not a big deal. I'm sure they get tons and tons of DMs, so it's understandable, but, but I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and understand where I'm coming from and please never take turtles and tortoises from the wild. If you want a turtle or tortoise, find a breeder, adopt, or rescue. Also in the description down below, I'm going to be leaving a bunch of links for a lot of the sources that I'm talking about in this video. There are lots of sources online that talk about what I discuss, the legal ramifications and the environmental ramifications of taking turtles and tortoises from the wild. So if you would like to read further on anything I discuss in this video, I will have sources in the description down below. Please understand that this video is merely a correction of a message that I feel is harmful online. It is not a hate video and it is nothing against any individual. I didn't even mention names in this video for that very reason. It is specifically about a harmful message. So please remember to be kind. Bye guys.